fresh examples of what I was talking about yesterday. You see, Dr. Shorosh in the debate, he mentioned one of the stup stu most stupendous feet of Hazrat Isa Alayhi Salam, Jesus. And he quoted from John, Gospel of St. John, chapter 3, verse 13. He quoted, he says, No man has ascended into heaven. No man has ascended into heaven except the Son of Man. Who is the Son of Man? Jesus. Except the Son of Man who descended from heaven, who is in heaven. That's John chapter 3 verse 13. He quoted that. No man has gone up except Jesus. But the man hadn't gone up when this thing was written. It, it hasn't happened. The, the ascension had not happened. And the man is talking that no man has ascended into heaven except the Son of Man, Jesus, who descended from heaven. Did he descend from heaven? Luke tells us that when he was eight days old, Luke tells us, when he was eight days old, he was circumcised and named Jesus by the angel when he was in his mother's womb. So where did he come out from? From his mother's womb. He said he descended from heaven. Who saw him coming down? The nurses and whoever were helping Mary in the stable, they saw this Jesus, this puny little child with all the filth and the muck, which made his mother impure for 40 days according to Jewish law, coming out of his mother's womb. Now they said, no, he descended from heaven. Who is in heaven? And who is in heaven? But the man was on earth and he's having a rough time with the Jews. He's in hell. The Jews are giving hells to him and he said, and he is in heaven. So in the next, you remember the five major revisions? In the sixth major revision, the words who is in heaven is now eliminated. In the revised standard version, who is in heaven is taken out. Because they know that's not fitting. The man is here on earth and says, who is in heaven? What heaven? This hell that you are in. Is that your heaven? The book gives you devilish advice. The Bible, if it's the word of God, listen to what it says. It says, give strong drink, hard liquor, strong drink, hard liquor, to him who is perishing. Anybody who is about to die, any nation is about to perish, what you do, give them strong drink, give them hard liquor. Open your book, open the Bible, and if you have it, check it up. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verses 6 and 7. Proverbs, chapter 31, verses 6 and 7. Open your Bibles and see the advice given, this devilish advice given by God. That if a people are dying, like the Abor aboriginals of Australia, the white man has been giving him drink. The Red Indians, you go to America, you go to Canada, see what is the, the fate of these people. Drink, drink, drink. In Africa, drink, alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. The first freedom that my country gave to the black people was what they call the bottle franchise. You can buy bottle now. Bottle franchise was the first franchise that we ever received in South Africa was the bottle. Give him drink. You want to make a nation to perish? You want to destroy a people? Give him strong drink, says the Holy Bible. Let him drink and forget his poverty. Yes, forget his sorrow and remember his misery no more. That's the advice. God gives you that advice. And I have been seeing, you know, as a boy, I used to go and see a lot of these cowboy films. And when the guy is dying, I see that they give him a tot. They give him a drink. And then, then the guy goes off peacefully. The man is dying, they give him drink. The man is dying, they give him drink. I say, where did you get this idea from? A man who's dying, if the Muslims, they give them honey in water. You know that? Easy digestible, give you quick energy. The man is on the, on the throes of death. You give him hard drink, strong drink, hard liquor. No, that's what the Bible says, give him hard drink. So they give hard drink. A man is dying, give him hard drink. A nation is perishing, give him hard drink, hard liquor. 